All right, it is now exporting. It'll take about an hour and then I'm gonna leave it overnight to upload and hopefully it'll be up tomorrow on Friday. I am now gonna work on this illustration. I'm working on this desk. I finally cleared it up. So this is the white IKEA desk or my computer is not. Um, but yeah, I cleared it up and I'm working on it here. This was supposed to be the desk for my art journaling stuff, but I made it into to start this painting thing. Man, my boobs look fucked up. <laughs> They're like bigger. It's very weird. But yeah, I'm starting this. Um, I don't know. I the last post I did with the scarecrow, I I wrote a little like poem sort of, or just a couple lines. So I'm I'm brainstorming what I'm going to write for this beheaded wolf thing. While I paint color this, I wanted to talk about something. Let me use my tripod. Whatever, you're just gonna have to deal with my boobs being here. Okay, that's better. Um, so, I, uh, I wanted to talk about a couple movies that I watched while, you know, taking care of the baby. So, uh, after after delivery and you know, when I was home and I actually had time to watch some shows and stuff I, I only started a few I was a little bit picky and I was also a bit distracted but the last day or so the last two days I watched a couple movies the last one I watched is um called you won't be alone it's an international movie and the only known actor in it is my, one of my favorite actors is Numi Rep Numi Rapace, Numi Rapace. She was in the uh, Girl with the da Dragon Tattoo. That was the actress. Uh, it's like Macedonian based and it's fantasy horror. It's uh, it's really good. I really enjoyed it. Not a lot of dialogue, but I would recommend that if you're looking for some horror el horror movies to watch. This one was more like drama horror. A lot of blood. Um, not a lot of blood if, if you ask me, but a fair amount if you are kind of uh, you squeamish about blood. But it's very good, not scary at all, and I really, really enjoyed it. So it's called You Won't Be Alone. And then the other movie I watched that was not as good as as um, as um the as this one is... What was it called? No One Will Save You or No One Can Save You. It's like an alien movie. So I will leave like a, an image or the poster of it so you can go watch it. I don't know where they're available, but um, oh no, the boy has woken. <laughs> uh, I know I don't know where you can watch it, but uh, I'll leave the poster. So if you are looking for some horror movies to watch, so yeah, those were the two. And then I have been watching a show on Apple called The Changeling, which is based on a novel, and I really like it. Yeah, those I recommend. I just wanted to quickly talk about those, but I have been enjoying that, The Changeling, and I stopped watching Foundation because I found that season two is just, you know, it kind of drags, so I'm taking a break from it a little bit. And I know The Walking Dead universe has expanded and I haven't watched them yet. I've been collecting episodes of some shows and that's one of them, so yeah. Just wanted to quickly chat about that. We're done. I'm just gonna cut it up for ease. This one isn't as good, I think, but it was an idea I had. I wanted the decapitated creature to be a bit more glowy, but that's all I could do. I think he looks fine. I could um, tinker with it a bit more, honestly, but... Not good lighting either. I have my ring light and then I opened my blinds a little bit, but I guess because my tripod is in front of the light. Okay, so it is Friday today. My vlog just went up this morning and I have a couple of hours to work on some stuff. It's fine, it's yellow. We're just gonna, you know me, I like a dark studio. Uh, yeah, so I have a couple of hours to work on some stuff. So I'm going to work on the next sketch for the next little post size 
uh, painting that I have been doing. The last one was the Decapitated Wolf, which I am, before I end my break, I'm going to scan it, edit it, and have it up for Instagram. And yeah, so that's the plan. I drew up another quick comic of that character that's obsessed with pumpkins. I don't know what her name is going to be, but I just... She's, I've been drawing her, so I sketched that as well really quickly. It was just a quick idea. I'm going to update my agenda because it has been a couple days. The last time I updated it was on Wednesday. Yeah, so I got to update it. I have a couple of, uh, I kind of want to start a, 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 a list of stuff to do for the next two hours. My partner, my boyfriend is watching, I keep saying partner or boyfriend. My, my boyfriend is watching the baby for the next couple hours, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Uh, I have a couple things I want to do. And yeah, I'm just kind of reinvigorated. I feel pretty rested uh so i'm taking advantage and i have been thinking about restarting stickers again even though i can't really make money i'm not allowed to make money because i am on ei or employment insurance slash maternity leave so if i make money i have to declare that money at the end of my leave so yeah um but i kind of want to i've missed making stickers like sticker sheets so what if i just make sticker sheets but i don't sell them until my maternity is over i also have my glass unicorn comic that i would like to restart again but i have been just having fun working on some fun stuff that isn't really focused on like an end goal sort of like these small illustrations and the little comics of the pumpkin girl so yeah i'm gonna start with updating my agenda which by the way is running out i'm already here so i might buy a new one maybe i'll go back to my bigger size because i don't have to i went with a smaller size because i wanted to fit it into my purse but since i'm off for a year maybe i'll go back to the one that i really like which is this um i got this on amazon it's at a glance this one's from 2020. I love the size and the, how thick it is. It's not that thick, but it's pliable. And I have a surface that I can put stickers in, which I really enjoy doing. And I also liked the layout. So it's like a weekly layout. And it had a lot of space for, for like writing stuff. And I really enjoyed this. I, I just could not fit it into my purse. So I had this and I made it. I went with a smaller agenda. But I might just go back to that because I'm running out of the last month available here is november so yeah it'll be december and then the rest of the year and i filled this up pretty nicely so that's gonna be on part of my list is look into buying a new agenda which i'm probably just gonna order on amazon i uh yeah yeah we are doing a early thanksgiving on saturday at my boyfriend's parents house so that's on saturday which is exciting we're gonna bring the baby and uh, he's gonna be he's met his cousins so he's gonna hang out with his cousins even though he's a potato and doesn't really understand what's going on <laughs> but it'll be nice it'll be nice to see family so then i have a couple of doctor doctor's appointments coming doctor appointments coming up for myself for a baby and for my sh shoulder surgery it's it hasn't been booked yet and they're probably i only have an appointment coming up where they're going to assess me because they know i just had a child so they're going to see if i'm ready to go under surgery again it's a very minor surgery to get rid of this bump on my shoulder so it would be really nice to have it out before next summer i gotta start working on uh, getting back into like my regular physical activity i used to walk a lot and did i did more exercise than i used to before pregnancy so i really get i would like to get back into that because my body is feeling it especially my back i have back pain now but it might go away i don't know anyway okay let's start with the agenda stuff um today is the uh, the the sixth already so i gotta update what i do oh yeah the, the other movie i watched was the newest evil dead movie called evil dead rise it wasn't that bad i liked the effects in it it's very gory so don't watch it if you hate blood and gore there's a lot of blood in it but i enjoyed it it was an enjoyable watch for somebody who enjoys that kind of stuff so i would rate that 
um, I like rating my movies if I, I write them down on my agenda and I rate them out of 10. So Evil Dead Rise, I would give like a 7 out of 10 just because it was quite enjoyable. Yesterday, ah, yes, I edited the vlog. Vlog. I like to write it and then cross it out. Oh, the other thing I like to put in is what if I did cook that day. So I made veggie curry. And then I cross out the date. Um, I did paint and draw, so I love putting that in, just so I know that I did it that day. And then today, the vlog up. Um, and then I'm going to paint slash insta post. I'm gonna vlog, and I would like to do my nails. Gosh. And then I have to call and book another driving lesson. I booked my driving test for December. So that's, um, so I have a nice timeline to book driving lessons and learn all the things I need to do to pass the test. So I got to book my first driving lesson. Um, I didn't want to book anything when I was like 40 weeks, 30 weeks plus pregnant, just in, just in case it's, it's the stress. So I didn't book anything. Oh, I was going to write something down that I wanted to do. Oh, yeah. Okay, so in my list, I would like to uh, insta post. I would like to do a vlog, uh, take a vlog clip, which I'm doing right now. Comic. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna put on the agenda purchase. Cool. Okay, let's start painting. Okay, I made my post it square. So now I just sit here and brainstorm. What do I want to draw? Maybe I will draw like a bat. This way. The post-it square is just a rough idea. I don't know if you can even see that, but here's what I have so far. A floating naked woman um, creeping on this guy in bed. I'm looking at her head, like the back of her head here, and she's floating. I don't know. I don't know. So, his feet have to be up here. No, let's see. <laughs> Maybe he's higher up. his hands like peering he's his head is peering over the covers um, I had his feet here earlier which works out more I don't know covers just a rough idea but I'm not sure this is what I'm gonna go with it just came to my brain all right, here it is. Sorry for the horrible angle. Can you see that? So shadowy. Yeah, that's the sketch. So I'm gonna flat now, and then I'll probably color with color pencil tonight, so it'll be nice and flat, and then I can move on to scanning the other one. She's a succubus. I don't know. There's a scary naked lady who floats. That's that's creepy if you see that at night. Maybe it's his um sleep paralysis demon okay for color i have been doing a lot of blues so maybe a purple would be nice it's very hard to mix a purple with my koi palette with the, all the colors i have left but i'm gonna try my best the purple i get is not a purple i like i mean i can mix it but it's not the best purple but we'll make do we'll make do oh you know what i'm gonna do a little bit of kneaded eraser very rough paint I mean rough outlines blue violet oops yes I think I'm gonna go with like a purple and green tone but I'm going to do like a mostly purple wash here no 
for. Maybe I can lift a little bit of the purple from this lady here. I'm just using my brush again, but dried a little bit more. But I think the colors have mostly set in. I'm going to use an even drier brush. Just a little bit. Once this dries, it's going to be way lighter anyway. You can't even tell what I'm doing on camera. But yeah, okay. So I will let that dry. That's all I needed to do. Just kind of set the tone of the drawing. And I'm gonna, purple and green is a nice combination. So I'm gonna put that under this mat to let it dry. I just finished outlining this little comic. It's just one drawing. So I have something in queue. It's kind of sad. I've been posting every day. And unlike before, a couple years ago, the good old days, whenever, if you post it every day, you will get followers. Like, they will come. But now it's just like, I've read a couple articles of people being like, you gotta post every day, at least three times a day, you gotta post a reel every single day that has to be this long, and all that kind of stuff. Use the effects, use all the new things that Instagram wants you to use so you can get bumped up in the algorithm. Got to use, um, I don't know, hashtags. I stopped using hashtags because the bots just kept coming. Um, yeah, you have to have like very particular things. Doesn't doesn't mean that, you know, a post doesn't, um, will not get, like a regular video post or a regular photo post will not get views or just like for some reason get ca caught on the algorithm. But if you really want to grow your following, you have to do all these things nowadays. And it's very sad. So I'm, I'm happy with just posting every day without hashtags and just doing whatever. It's been working out. It's nice. It's still sharing stuff. But I just feel bad if um, you are primarily an artist, that's your bread and butter, and you need following, you have to grow your audience so you can make money and all that kind of stuff. <sighs> yeah, it's tough. It's tough out there. Okay, finish. Let me show you a drawing that I did. I kind of want to digitize it. It's, it's just funny to me when he makes his like a pouting face. Obviously when he's crying, I don't, it distresses me and I don't like it. But when I know he's just hungry and he wants it, he wants to eat right now, it just makes me laugh. So I drew, this is based on a photo of him <laughs> that my, my boyfriend took, which is one of my favorite photos. And he's just like crying because he's hungry. And I was going to feed him right away. But this any other moms like just love the pouting face. Oh my god, so funny. I'm trying to stagger these mom posts or baby posts on my Instagram. But you guys are going to get it in the vlog. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to stagger it on my social media. Not too much of it, but... The face... When he makes that face and his little gums right now, he doesn't have any teeth, so oh my god. Anyway, I'm gonna line this too. I kind of want to digitize the drawing itself and like paint it, but <laughs> maybe I'll paint it. Yeah, that'll be the next project. Successfully posted. Okay, I left my agenda out so I can look up the particulars for it. I'm sure it's in st at Staples, but let's see how much it is on Staples. There's no Staples around me, which is annoying. Is it monthly planner or weekly planner? It's a weekly planner. Okay, and let's look it up on uh, Staples. regular soft cover holy moly it's $35 $35 on Amazon for the regular black one it's damn I thought this would be cheaper <gasps> you know there are dupes of this at the dollar store the Dollarama the one I had which was not bad that's from Dollarama I'll show you 
So this one is the one that is $35 or so plus shipping and taxes. And then this one is uh, $3 that I got from the dollar store. And it's like slightly smaller. It's still pretty good quality and it's also a weekly vlog, a weekly vlog, also weekly pages. So I would have to go to the dollar store at some point to purchase this. And I'm pretty limited where, where I can go, but at some point I am going to be going out anyway. And so maybe I'll just make a stop at the dollar store and see if they have this in stock. I have some time. I really like this format and it's a really great quality, but I don't remember it being $35 when I bought it. It was about 20 or so. So I don't know. Maybe I bought it at the right time. But yeah. That's insane. It's uh, 2.47 in the afternoon and I'm making a lunch. I'm just gonna have a quick one. Some chicken strips with some cucumbers. Uh, yeah, so there's only a few left in this bag, so might as well finish it. We've been using our air fryer a lot that we got as a Christmas gift. We were a bit skeptical, but it's been used almost every day. There's only three strips in here. I need at least four, so I'm going to open the other one. <laughs> Nighttime joy is back. It's nine o'clock, and I'm gonna start rendering this illustration. I'm just gonna do it in nice, uh, quiet with the YouTube video on. I think uh, I'm gonna film a couple clips, but for the most part, I am going to be just working. Okay, what did my sharpener go? Oh, there it is. All right, time to. Time to paint. Time to color. I was going to put a YouTube video on and then I forgot I was working on this um, before I had to stop. So this is that illustration but I felt like col coloring it digitally. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's how it looks like for now. It's The colors are not right because I'm filming it on my camera, on my Cintiq. But I'll probably work on this again tomorrow if I have time. Yeah. He's a little baby, he's crying. <laughs> Alright, back to the uh, illustration. Oh, yeah. On a day I would post if I'm doing an extra video, which is Tuesday, so I'm like, it's too beautiful. Good afternoon. It's Sunday, October the 8th. I just had a shower. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon. I have a few hours here, so I'm going to scan that painting and kind of edit it as much as I can because I didn't think, I don't think it turned out that great. I was kind of drawing or rendering in the dark, which is a mistake that's on me. So I'll see what I can do in terms of like fixing up the illustration for posting. And then I'm probably going to go downstairs, do my makeup, and grab a cup of coffee because I haven't done that yet. And then I am back to doing some baby stuff. So, but I'm going to take these couple of hours to do that. Uh, if I continue doing these illustrations, I can make a, a cute little zine out of it or something. Not sure. I haven't done an art book in a while and I don't have the funds right now for anything at all. So I'm just going to compile all the illustrations that I create, which is also good. And probably once I get some funds back in, when my maternity leave is over, then I can create stuff to print and whatever. Um, what was I going to say about funds? Yeah, I really wanted to do Patreon stuff, but like, even if I did Patreon stuff, I would have to declare the income. But also, I don't have income to put into creating sticker sheets like I have some and then whatever money I make on patreon I can use that to make um, sticker sheets and stuff but it's a little bit too complicated and I'm not gonna I'm just kind of thinking in my head what are the possibilities but I'm not too serious yet because I'm only like six weeks out from delivering my child so it's just like 
I gotta chill out. I also slept on my wrist really badly last night, so I have to wear this brace. I have been trying to wear my wrist braces because just the amount of physical carrying the child, breastfeeding the child, positioning and just carrying him and soothing him has really wrecked my wrists, especially my weaker wrist, which is my left wrist. Um, my right wrist is doing fine. I try to take care of this guy because this is my drawing hand. Um, but my left wrist is so weak that I, it was working non-stop since um, he was born. And like a week ago or something like that, I noticed like a little bump over here. And it was like a hard bony bump. And I got really concerned. I looked it up and you shouldn't do that. But I looked it up and I was like, oh no, my wrists are getting cysts. Uh, but I just, uh, my boyfriend's like, just wear your brace, you know, take care of it. So I wore my brace for like a couple days and the, the bump went down. I, at least I think it did. Yeah, the bump went down. It was like a noticeable round bump. It was really weird. It was like a, there's like a pellet bug under my skin or something. But it has gone down. So I am continuing to wear this. I really don't like wearing it because it gets hot and I get itchy, but... It saves my wrist, so I just gotta do it. All right, I uploaded the new drawing. And now I do my makeup. I'm gonna roast the, the rest of this kabocha squash. It's eight o'clock. I'm back in the studio, so I'm going to sketch the next little post it illustration and then work on the comic. I was sitting down on Amazon and I decided that I'm going to purchase the at a glance agenda but I'm gonna purchase the pocket size which is about the same size as this and it's like $11 um, but I don't have prime so I need to get something else to qualify for a free shipping because if without that it would cost like $8 to ship but we'll see I still have it parked on my cart I might decide not to buy it so I'm just stalling, I guess. Alright. I was gonna put on a video. And then draw. My squash is ready. This is my favorite squash. I'm pretty sure it's called a kabocha squash. I was gonna say kombucha. Kabocha squash. If I get it wrong, I'll put it on the thing. But it's so sweet. I just roasted this in the oven at like 450, so it's fast. So at about 20, 30 minutes. And um, I put it in before the oven preheated because I really wanted it quickly. And there's nothing on it, no oil or anything. It's just roasted squash. I hope it doesn't give me any digestion problems because this is literally just what I'm eating. I am done the sketch. It is a little bit more involved and larger than a post-it size. Oh my god, sorry. Let me just turn on my little ring light for this. The sketch, it's a clown vampire or clown Dracula with a dead body in the back. So a little bit more involved. It's going to be a challenge, but we'll do it. I'm pretty excited for it. This is actually the second attempt. Let me show you the first sketch attempt. It was just going to be like a profile or a bust shot, but I decided to um, push it a little bit more. So yeah, that is the next little painting illustration. Is now 10 o'clock. I think I'm done for the night. I, I sketched out another comic 
uh, that I'm going to outline tomorrow maybe but I also um, what did I do? yeah I sketched that clown Dracula Dracula clown that I showed you I was gonna like flatten it out but I'm feeling more lazy tonight so I'm just gonna take it easy uh, the other thing that I wanted to do on my list is um, paint my nails so I'm gonna take that time to do so it can dry before I have to feed my son again uh, clean up this desk a little bit though mm -hmm. and we're gonna paint my nails I'm not gonna do gels because that's that'll take forever I am just gonna do regular polish I'm going with this like pink essence gel polish the color is called Actually, it doesn't have a title or a name but um, it's a gel polish but you don't really need the UV light for it and I find that it dries fast so this is what I'm gonna oops syrup and cut potatoes organic eggs artisan bread European butter third wave coffee and house-made vinaigrette instead what people crave are the tried and true nostalgic basic flavors processed craft singles my nail polish is dry, I washed my face, put some of my moisturizer, which is just Vaseline, and I have about five minutes left in my break, but I'm just going to go downstairs. I can hear him crying. He's probably hungry. And so I'm going to do that, and I will vlog again tomorrow, hopefully. Um, yeah, um, I've been trying to get as much vlog clips as much as I can, even though I may not look presentable every time, but... Yes, I think uh, pretty successful on my list today. I'm gonna go see my baby and my boyfriend and we're just gonna hang out until bedtime. So I'll see you guys in the next one. So in the next clip. Okay, good night. <laughs> good morning. It, oh, good afternoon. It is Monday, October the 9th, 12.24 in the afternoon. The hair is kind of crazy, but I just kind of want most of it out of my way, and I these are all I had. I am finding that my long hair is getting in the way of taking care of the child, but I don't want to cut it yet. I've read stuff about like hair tourniquets if you have long hair, and you have a baby because their fists, especially if they're like really young, their fists are always clenched, and then they like to grab things, so they can grab a piece of your hair, pull it out, and then it'll wrap around their finger like a tourniquet and cause them pain. And I'm just like, oh no! So I'm kind of mindful about that, but I really don't want to cut my hair. I've been, I, I like growing out my hair enough to donate a bunch of it, and then so if I get it a way longer, I can cut it really short and not have it look really ridiculous, so I'm waiting for that to happen. I probably won't get a haircut until most likely like way, 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 way later. Maybe even a year. We'll see how long my hair gets. Um, I might rope my brother into cutting my hair for free because I don't know why. Well, I know why. Um, whenever I get a haircut, it always costs me more than $100. And recently, my last haircut, it cost me like $110 or something. That's with tip because I like to tip the, the hairdressers and the barbers and stuff. So just because my hair is long, they're like, oh, your hair is so long and so thick, we have to wash it. And the washing costs extra. So I'm just like, okay. <laughs> I only get it. I only get my haircut once a year. So it's fine, but I am so jealous of my boyfriend who I, I just buzz his hair and so he doesn't have to worry about it. He gets it for free, but um, Okay, so I just did my makeup, had my coffee and today I am going to start coloring in the the clown Dracula drawing that I worked on last night. Uh, I feel like I should be doing more things, but anyway. I'm gonna start this. Maybe I'll film it if I can get my setup right. You know, we talk, we talk, it's like hard. <laughs> and I love my inspiration to get out more. Because even after we move, we look at what I work up. Go out. Fall. <laughs> I'm going to go out today. It's not going to be the most exciting thing. just 
waiting for that flat to dry so I decided to sketch the next one. It's pretty generic, it's just like a, a skull and a lady. But we'll see how it turns out. I'm not really happy with how the lady is drawn. I think her anatomy is a bit wonky. Like it doesn't jive with the cartoony look of the skull. Uh, she looks a little bit too semi-realistic than cartoony so I have to kind of mull, o mull it over. Her body anatomy is more on the cartoony side but her face I'm not really happy with. So I don't know. I feel like the anatomy is off too which is fine because it's just a cartoon but yeah. the oh, the lighting here is the flats for the dracula clown i really want to do pure watercolor on this one but i need to maintain a consistency with the illustration so uh, and it'll be a nice challenge especially with the checkered pattern but i'm thinking i'm gonna keep the checkered pattern um and maybe the ruffled neck a purely watercolor and the rest is color pencil if i really wanted to i can expand this and make this into a bigger watercolor piece but I really like this one so far. Hopefully I don't mess it up. I'm gonna render tonight during my next break. Uh, but the other thing I worked on is this one, some squash staining glass from last night. So this is the next comic for the, the pumpkin character. I need to erase the pencils. Uh, it's really stupid so they they have been stupid and i have been staggering them so in between these illustrations so i can have time i'm doing these comics and also sometimes some other ones uh, like my digitized baby drawing which i really enjoy um yeah so i was also thinking of digitizing this uh let me grab it so this is the sketch the little notebook sketchbook that i brought with to me that i brought to Montreal with me holy moly um, so it had the little comics like travel comics which I have not finished there's actually a bunch more pencils that I haven't inked that I would like to post like this one is not done yet and it would be a really cool zine but I don't know who'd be interested in that it's just my stuff but anyway uh, so this illustration or this drawing that I drew based off of a picture that I took the stinky boy he was um he was about five days old or something less than a week no more than a week and i took this picture and i thought it was so funny so i obviously exaggerated it his he doesn't look like that to me he does so i drew it but i was thinking of making this into a digital drawing and i'm gonna ask my boyfriend if i can do it because he's we're both really private about him we don't want his likeness anywhere photos anywhere uh, he let me draw this and post it because it doesn't look like him at all it's just a funny drawing but i was thinking of yeah asking him if i could digitize this and make it into a thank you card for the people who have given us who gave us treats bought us pampers bought us diapers treats um and like baby stuff when i was pregnant and before he was born uh just like as a thank you card that would be really funny so i'm gonna ask him that but either way i'm going to digitize this and keep it for myself maybe i'll print it out and put it in his uh like baby book or his nursery so yeah this is <laughs> funny drawing it's, i love it uh so i was thinking about that i'm gonna ask him that anyway but yeah uh all right let us put this away this guy put it to the side 
then I'm going to erase the pencils on this one because it's completely dry now. It's really gloomy outside, but I really would like to start going for walks with my my son. We don't have a stroller. It would be good to expose him to some air. <laughs> He's been out sometimes when we go to doctor's appointments and stuff. Uh, he hasn't gotten his shots yet. He's getting his immunizations, this first rounds of immunizations and shots soon. Um, after that, then I'll be a bit more comfortable taking him out. But yeah, we don't have a stroller, so I've just been walking around with him in a carrier, which is fine. Um, we don't really have the space for a stroller, so unless someone gives it to us, I will gladly take it. But um, I've just been carrying him on the carrier, and it is doable. But yeah, it's kind of gloomy right now and windy, so maybe it's not the best time. I would like some air myself. Maybe I'll just walk around the like a couple blocks and then come back. Okay, so this is ready to go for the next time. But my next uh, illustration uh, that I'll be posting is this one. So this is the priority for tonight. What's what's on my list? Oh yeah, I have to call somebody. And then I would like to pluck my eyebrows. <laughs> okay, let's start to stash my stash of whips oh, the hair. so I did end up buying I don't know if I talked about it I did end up ordering the agenda that is the same size as this one because I really like how small it is I still would have wanted to get the original size agenda that I used to get but this size was much cheaper and it is more portable I bring it to doctor's appointments and stuff like that so yeah, I decided to go with the smaller size and I also bought um, a baby Halloween costume. I kind of didn't want to buy one because it might be, it's obvious, it might be single use, like he's going to use it once and then he'll grow out of it. But if I have another child, then maybe that child can use it. But who knows right now? I'm not even thinking about that. But um, yeah, I want, I got him like, I'll show it when it comes. I think it, it's like a bat costume. It's very simple. I went with the cheapest option. Cheapest option for my child. Uh, because again, he's going to use it once. So, and he might even poop on it. So who, who knows. But I got that and the agenda as well. So that'll come hopefully in two weeks before Halloween, hopefully. And then the agenda will come right on time before the new year starts. So I ended up doing that. What's I going to do? I also should start editing the vlog with the clips I have because my schedule is a bit more tight now. So I don't usually, I usually edit for two hour, two to three hours on Thursdays to have the vlog up on Friday. But because my time is so um, unpredictable, I should start editing whenever I have a break. So I might do that, but I do have to make a call to book a driving lesson at some point this week or the next. Yeah, so I should do that. I'm gonna call and then maybe I'll start editing, who knows. You know what, I'm not gonna call my driving instructor because I just realized today is a holiday for people. I need a highlighter. Today is a highlight, to highlighter, today is a holiday, so I'll, I'll let him go. <laughs> I'll call him tomorrow. So I'm gonna put on my weekly plan checklist book driving lesson eyebrows <laughs> so when would be a good day maybe a Thursday or a Friday or the weekend because we don't have anything and then we have a bunch of doctor appointments next week cool okay so yeah I'll call but today what I did is I uh, sketched paint and I'd vlog <laughs> I crossed them out right after so stupid okay yeah I'll call him tomorrow because it's a holiday for him I want to respect that just quickly tidy up I know we spilled some water just a quick tidy
taking a break from it a little bit. And I know the Walking Dead universe has expanded and I haven't watched them yet. I've been collecting it. I like it. It's just the new episodes come out, come out every Friday. I'm in our bedroom. It's 9.45. I decided to just take a break during my break actually and not draw or I was gonna do the Dracula clown uh, painting but I just suddenly felt quite tired so I'm going to take a break actual break that is resting my body I can't sleep though but I am just here on my phone kind of just like spacing out so that's what I'm gonna do my body is in pain just like my shoulders and my back from nursing and my boobs hurt so I'm going to try and rest some more we had some dinner I do I'm just tired That's the pink light. It's a glitter lava lamp. Instead of lava looking blobs, it's glitter. It's my boyfriend's. the next morning 1 30 in the afternoon uh, next day 1 30 in the afternoon and i'm gonna start rendering this guy i um i basically just rested last night and i feel a little bit better today still quite exhausted i don't know i think it's i didn't eat much yesterday and i think that's it i'm not making enough calories and I need to eat a little bit more than I'm eating because I'm making milk for my child and I just need more to fuel my body because I'm actively taking care of him also so it's quite physical and also just like I need to drink more water so I really felt so tired so I'm gonna try and eat a little bit more today and also drink more water sometimes I forget because I'm just so busy so that's what I'm gonna do. Easy enough, right? <laughs>
10 o'clock and I just finished this illustration. I decided to take a couple clips for an Instagram reel. So I'm going to edit that probably right now. But let me show you. Oops, sticking to my hair. So let me show you the final. Um, I think it turned out really well. The checkered pattern on his like uh, outfit isn't that strong. I did go with mostly watercolor on it and I did put a little bit of color pencil on top. Uh, I feel like this side of the illustration is stronger than the other side. <laughs> um, the balance, I mean the, I guess, uh, what do you call it? What's that word? What's that term? Mm. <sighs> I forget, but it was. it's my favorite word, but I don't remember. Maybe if I remember it, I will put it on the screen, but I don't know. Um, just the way the layout is it the layout composition there you go started with c the composition is not the best but i am pretty happy with how it turned out so yeah i'm gonna edit this as the post um i'm gonna post it as a reel tonight and then tomorrow it's gonna be the final scan so i can have some time to work on the next illustration although i have a comic queued up but yeah what do you guys think it's hard to see in the dark. Spooky. Hello, it is Wednesday, no, Thursday, October the 12th, 120 in the afternoon. I'm just finishing up the vlog edit and I thought I would talk about the labor and delivery of um, my child <laughs> at the end of the vlog. But when I started filming it, uh, the first clip I took was already 10 minutes long and we haven't even gotten to the part where he is delivered. So <laughs> it's already too long. So I think I'm going to film that later in a bit more of a succinct manner where it's less talky and, and rambly and a bit more, you know, precise. Uh, but my camera is charging right now. It's at 10%. So I'm going to check back because my break time is almost over i have to relieve my boyfriend from taking care of the child and yeah uh, what else is i gonna say so i'm gonna do that later hopefully i'll get some time it is 8 30 at night on thursday october the 12th um i filmed a little bit in the morning but it wasn't really that important but i think i'm gonna end the vlog here uh, just because I would love to export this vlog, it takes some time and it also takes some time to upload just in time for 8 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So that's what I'm going to do. I was not able to film my labor and delivery story, but I will. I promise I'll do that in the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you guys in the next video next week. Thanks for watching and yeah, have a good weekend, good night, good morning, whenever you're watching this.